Hi there, it's Roy Breton here. In this video I'd like to show you how to set up a subdomain. Now let me show you what a subdomain is. If I drag this across here in a second, um, this is a subdomain. So my web address is roybrettononline.com but I'm promoting something that I use called Data Feeder, something that I've tried and tested and works. So my, my address will be will look like this. So rather than having an affiliate link with lots of numbers, um, letters and abbreviations etc in, it looks nice and clean and much much better um, wherever you're going to place it. So I have a few uh, with various different websites I have a few subdomains. So let me show you how to set it up. Now I'm basically in GoDaddy. I have a GoDaddy reseller account. Um, some some accounts vary very slightly. Um, some have a different sort of format, but basically the, the principle is the same. So I'm going to go to manage. Uh, I'm in my domain name, which is RoyBrettonOnline.com. I'm going to go to manage DNS here, and then um, here you can see the forwarding. We're not forwarding domain. We're we're using subdomains. Um, I'm actually going to change this data feeder domain because the affiliate programs change so I have a different link to put in. Um, let me show you what to do here if you were starting from putting a new subdomain in. So the subdomain would be this data feeder and then the affiliate link would go here. Just, um, just be careful to make sure you get the HTTP. I normally I use the HTTPS. Um, so Let's um, cancel that and then we're going to go to edit the data feed link. So we copy this link. I've got another, another screen here. Um, I'll put that here. Paste it in there. Um, the HTTPS is, all, all is what we want. I've already taken the HTTPS out of here, which we don't want. Um, otherwise it won't work. We're going to preview it. So yep, yeah, that's working. So let's go back. We're going to save. And that's done. So let's try and let's close that page. Or let's know, let's open a, another tab. And I'm going to put my, I'm going to copy my subdomain here. Uh, copy it, and then I've got to put it in here, uh, and here it is. But paste and go data feeder dot dot roy breton online dot com. I'm going to do that, and sure enough, it's um, it's uh, this goes to my affiliate link, which which is great, which is just what we wanted. So you can see you've got a nice clean. Um, hat, well, it's actually changed now for for obvious reasons, but. But a subdomain looks much cleaner than having loads and loads of letters and abbreviations and numbers etc. So if you've got any questions um, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. Please feel free to comment and I'll put it on my website. Um, I'm here to help 